Okay, so this is a quick video uh, just going to show how we can fix eyelashes. So if you've done any work on the eyelashes and they've got a bit broken, they're really hard to edit and fix. So sometimes it's better to start from scratch and to get the get some eyelashes back onto the character that you're working with. Um, there's a way of doing that using ZBrush. So these eyelashes look fine, but you can use any other character that's there. So what we're going to do here is send this to ZBrush. So I'm going to select the character, send to ZBrush. So we want to match the scale. Uh, we want to have T-Pose and we want to make sure that the eyelashes are separate. So we're going to press Go Z, send that to ZBrush. Okay, so in here you can see if we go to the subtool that the eyelashes are on their own separate layer. It's exactly what we want, so we're going to select them. Now we're going to go back into uh, character Create floor and we're going to load the model that we want to work on. So, load this model here. And it's hard to see, but these eyelashes at the moment, if we go to Edit Mesh, they're actually folded back on themselves. Um, so, like I say, yeah, it's difficult to see what's going on there, but can you see? Yeah, they're basically folded over. So I don't know how that's happened, but I need to get them back to the original ones and it's extremely hard to do using the edit mesh and it's probably a little bit easier in ZBrush but again it's not an, a simple task so it's, sometimes it's better just to start from scratch so what I'm going to do here now is send this model to ZBrush and I want to make sure I've got match the model I want the eyelashes separate typos I want to make sure it's not on relink because I don't want to update the model that's already in there I want it to create a new model, so I'm going to press Go Z, if I go to frame, you'll see we've got the eye winker layer on there, which is the eyelashes, and you probably can get a better idea of how broken they are in here, see they just don't look right. So what we need to do now is go to append and select, actually we need to go back to the other model make sure this model is has the eyelashes selected then we'll go back to the model that we're working on and now we go to append in the subtools and then we select that model and then here we can see the eyelashes have come in so what we need to do now is delete this one but take note of the name so actually if we go to rename that and we're gonna delete that layer and then this one we're gonna rename so it's the same name as the original and now if we press all press ok we want to update mesh only typos match scale and update and now you'll see that we've got those <clears throat> eyelashes. I could have moved them in ZBrush, but I find it's easier to just come into the Edit Mesh, Use the Element Tool, and select the eyelashes. And then we can move them here and readjust them to fit how we want. Um, so there might be a bit of sculpting that we need to do here to kind of make them match up the same, to match with the face. And the reason you can't see the bottom one is because of the textures that are on here. I've got the bottom eyelashes hidden. So, um, but if we play around with these, and I can bring these back into ZBrush in a minute and position them a little bit better to where we want them to be. But say if that was how you wanted them, you can see there's some gaps here so that we can fix that up. You'll notice that the eye blinks are probably broken, so in here we can go to <coughs> correct eye blinks. Does an okay job at fixing them, but you just want to make sure then to go into the facial profile editor and go into eye blink. And in here we can go to edit mesh and we can play around with 
the mesh in here until it matches up a little bit better. And again, we can set that to ZBrush to do a better job if we wanted to. And then we update the mesh. And you can see the eye link, uh, eye links are fixed. And then another quick little tip as well. Look, if you get this problem with the eye, eyelids going through, you can then um, you can update them as well in here. So we can have a, we can have send them to ZBrush, or we can just do sorry edit mesh here and leave it at the percentage of where you can see it's causing the issue. And if we press face, select these parts here. Now just move them out a little bit so they're not part of this mirror. So I've got both sides selected. Now, I'm going to move the top of the lids back in a little bit. That'll be going all the way to 100% and update. And that should fix the always best for it. Again, these aren't set up properly, they need. A little bit of tweaking um, to make them close properly and stuff like that. But there's a quick video. Um, yeah, if you want to ever have any issues with the eyelashes and you need to bring some original ones back in, uh, that's a good way to do it. And then, as you can see here now, the eyelash mesh is nicely shaped.